Hello and congratulations on taking this course. You have made a good decision by enrolling in this course because we are going to learn a lot of things about Python right from scratch. And by the end of this course, I'm sure that you will become a Python expert. So even before starting the course, I just wanted to give you guys a brief introduction about the course structure. So this lecture is particularly aimed at that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing which we are obviously going to learn in this course is Python. So we will go through the programming language Python. So we are going to start from basics. So in the first few lectures, we are actually going to code Python by using the Python command line or the Python console or Python shell, whatever you like to call it. So we are going to do that. So there are almost like 70 plus lectures which are going to cover each and every concept in the Python programming language. Then after learning Python, we are going to learn something which is called as Tkinter. So Tkinter is actually used whenever you want to build desktop applications in Python. So we will learn the basics of Tkinter, like how a basic desktop application is made in Python. So we will make a few desktop applications, nothing like big one, but a few smaller ones. So that's going to cover the desktop application part in Python. Then we are going to actually learn the most interesting thing in Python and that's going to be Django. So Django is actually a web development framework which is quite famous these days and most of the big companies are using Django for web development and one of the best things about Django is that it's extremely simple building websites using Django as compared to any other web framework and Django is actually a backend framework which kind of deals with the backend stuff like the database and everything like that. So what we are going to do in this section is that we are going to build a website from scratch and I know that it's actually impossible to cover building entire website like a fully functional website but we are going to cover almost all the important parts which are actually included in a website. So we will cover that in the Django section. Then we are also going to learn Flask which is also a web development Python framework. So we are going to learn Flask as well along with Django. So this is kind of an add-on which you will get in this course. So in Flask, we will have a few lectures as compared to Django and Flask is somewhat similar to Django. So after Flask, we are going to learn web scraping. And in web scraping, we are actually going to learn how we could use Python and how we could write in a Python code which is actually going to crawl websites on the internet. So what we are going to do is that we are actually going to build a real life web crawler which is going to crawl any particular website which you specify. So this is going to be the last section of this course and this was all about the intro and I'm sure that you are going to enjoy this course.